Today's video sponsor is GVG More, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. Hello. Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. And as for today's video, we have the unboxing of the RX 7600 Sapphire Pulse version. And I can tell you right away that the card is well built, it looks great, it has no LEDs but it looks great and in terms of temperatures and airflow is pretty good as well so you don't have to worry about that so yeah just don't worry about that because you don't need to unless you you are really really overclocking the max you can uh, to the 200 watts power limit yes you're completely fine in terms of temperatures so yeah but well let's just follow to the unboxing. And here we are now on the unboxing part and have you ever thought of a box so small that it would fit in the palm of your hand? Well, this is not the case entirely, but this box is really, really small. I would like to have a banana for scale, but I don't have it right now. But I do have a, a RAM kit for scale, as you can see, the Fury, the DR5, and look at this. The RAM kit is almost, let's say, half the, um, the length of the um, of the graphics card box so the box is very very small as you can see as for the front we have the amd radian rx 7, uh, 7600 non-xt as you can see then we have the 8 gigabytes then we have ray tracing radeon boost and so on so on so on as you can see here radeon boost radeon anti-lag and that's basically it with the hdmi sapphire sapphire pulse nothing really new to see per se on the side we have the um, the barcodes, we have the Radeon 7600 as well. On this side we have the features, the Sapphire Pulse with the key features of 32 AMD RDNA 3 computer units with RT plus AI accelerators. This is for the AV1 encoding and decoding as well. The AI accelerators work for that. From what I know, 64 AI accelerators, 32 megabytes infinity cache technology, AMD Radiance Display Engine, which is the new uh, display engine for the RDNA 3 cards, AMD Radeon Boost technology and AMD Radeon Anti-Lag technology. Once again, 7600 8GB RDNA 3 architecture. On the back is where we have more things with once again the 7600. Advanced gaming with RDNA 3 architecture, with record and stream, crisp and clear, elevate your game, brilliant control accuracy, unified AMD performance and high performance rendering, in this case with the AMD Fidelity FX and Radeon Super Resolution technologies, nice. Um, once again the AMD Radiance Display Engine, we have also the noise suppression as it is shown here, we have the system specifications, product specifications and everything that we need to know. And on the top it's basically once again Sapphire Pulse, 7600, nice by the way, and in the bottom it is basically the same Sapphire Pulse, Sapphire Pulse AMD Radeon RX 7600 graphics card. It is what it is. Let's open the box now. And I must tell you that if there's a thing that Sapphire actually actually should make better because they do great cards, they do great bios and so on, but one thing they should they should do better is the packaging. Look at this. This is the most the most normal and the most normal cardboard that I've ever seen. Why don't they do at least bring a black cardboard or something like that? Because this is so so I don't know what to say even, it just doesn't look well at all because if you have um, a cool box, why don't have at least at least a, a dark cardboard, it would look so much better. But well, as opening the, um, the cardboard, we have the Sapphire Manual, as usual. Okay, Sapphire Manual, Graphics Card Quick Installation Guide. Then we have another paper here, which is the Sapphire Manufacturer, where, the, um, where they have the, um, the address. The representation in Germany, also nice. And that's basically it. And finally we have the card, finally and only. That's the only thing that we have on this smart ass cardboard, not even being black. It's just the standard one. Uh, and we have this foam for the card to fit better. And then we have the card, so let's, let's put the card away. And yeah, I mean this is... This is smaller than I thought it would be, sincerely. Damn. 
And while looking better at the card now, we can see that the pulse design is still here and it doesn't doesn't go away much from the, the usual pulse design, being the only difference is the red stripes that we have now in the front that we don't have in the, in the past models, with the usual with the usual fans that we have, not not the I mean the the curve of the fans uh, is quite better and it is optimized for airflow. Uh, that's one of the things that I like on the Sapphire cards. The fans and the airflow is really good, so the temperatures will be good as well. So we have the red stripes. On the side, uh, we have the card saying Sapphire, and on this part that we have uh, uh, the card saying Sapphire, we actually have some racing racing flag look-alike. Uh, so the effect here, as you can see, racing look-alike. Uh, but it actually looks quite nice with the Sapphire, with the Sapphire logo as well, and saying Radeon here on the other side. In my opinion, it looks very nice. Sapphire in one side, Radeon on the other. Then we have the cut here for the power, for the 8-pin power connection, and maybe for some airflow as well. On the top, we also have a cut on the side of the heatsink, and we have a cut on the die as well in order to improve the temperatures, because if the die has a cut here, the temperatures won't won't be restrained by the by the back plate. Uh, the, um, the heat will just spread here in this part, so it's much better than having the back plate covering the, the die. Uh, as for the back plate, it seems like it is metal. I believe it is metal. Looks very nice with a pulse with a pulse uh, image once again, with a pulse sapphire pulse here, the logo, and then we have the, I don't know how, how this is called um, in English, so sorry about that. But yeah, looks very nice. On the other side, we still have the racing flag type here in red. On the other side, we don't have the radian logo. Then we can see the heat pipes here. It has two heat pipes. I don't believe, I believe that this card doesn't need more than that. Two heat pipes. As for the bios, we don't have dual bios, it's the normal, the normal thing. And yeah, basically that's it. On the front we also have a cut on the heatsink in order to, to make the temperatures better. And as for the connections, here we are. By the way, we have a, a, cool, a cool thing here saying Sapphire. And on the input and output, we have um, HDMI, one HDMI and three display ports. So HDMI here on the second one and the other ones are display port okay so once again hdmi is being kind of discontinued and everything not discontinued but uh the recent cards bring more display ports than hdmi ones so as you can see once again three display ports and one hdmi very nice actually now as for the size comparison well we have the pulse 7600 let's see other pulse versions of the previous cards so firstly, let's start, we have the 7600 here, and we have the Vega 56. So the Vega 56 came uh, before the, um, the 5000 series, so we have the Vega, it's Vega 56, it's more or less in terms of performance, it, it is on par more or less with the 5600X that I have here as well, but firstly let's focus on the Vega 56. As you can see, the Vega 56 still has the stripes as well, the red stripes, okay, it still has the red stripes. On the side it is quite different because we have the pulse and actually we have the pulse being with an LED now something that does not happen in the, the most recent cards for example this one has no LEDs the 7600 but the Vega had two LEDs and as you can see 8 pin power connections because the card was power hungry and on the top it is completely different if we compare to the newest card so as you can see we have a way a way bigger cut in terms of a way bigger cut sorry in terms of of the, um, the back plates, see, it's half back plate basically cut down in order to improve the temperatures while the newer cards don't need that because they are much, much more efficient in terms of temperatures and even the fans are different, for example these fans that you see on the Vega 56 aren't that great for airflow something that has been improved in the recent Pulse models where the fans are much, much more efficient and now I have the 5600 here, and this one that I have is actually the, the BE edition, which is the basic edition. So we don't have the red colors, uh, it's all black, it's all black, but it looks good as well. Now in terms of, of build quality, they are most likely the same with the 7600 looking a bit better and feeling a bit sturdier than the 5600 XT. The 5600 XT in the... Um, in the rear, or in, the, in this case in the top of the card. As you can see they are basically the same with the cuts as well, with the 7600 having a bigger cut here, 
on the end of the heatsink. Um, the colors being different because like I told you this is the basic edition of the Pulse. And there's not really much difference, as you can see, in between these two cards. But the difference starts, for example, with the fans. As you can see here, the 5600 Basic Edition still has the older fans like the Vega 56. Okay, the fans aren't as good as they should, while the 5600 has more circular fans that are better in terms of airflow. The colors are basically the same with just some aesthetic changes um, and some airflow changes in terms of the fans, for example. Yeah. And well guys, as you saw, the card looks very, very good, even in comparison to the older, to the older Pulse models. The Vega 56 model had LED uh, saying Pulse, which for me was the most good looking one. But right after that, we went for the 5000 series uh, and they were also good looking. Let's say that they were good looking. Not that, not that great, but good looking. And this uh, 7600 is also different. So we have a little different things from the previous versions and the air pressure that is much better on these new type of fans like the 7000 and 6000 series pulses than on the previous ones that had a way, way lower air pressure. In terms of temperatures, as you will be able to see on the next video of 40 games, for example, 40 games on the 7600, the temperatures are completely fine. They rarely pass 70 degrees, if you have at least decent case airflow, 70 degrees and overclocking, okay? When pushing it to the max, it is around 70 degrees. Uh, and even at the max speed, at the 100% max, a speed of the fans, it isn't loud, it just isn't loud, the card is very, very, um, I wouldn't say silent, but it is close to silent even at 100% speed. Uh, and the once again, the temperatures are pretty fine. If you are running the card at stock or even just under vaulting uh, with the stock frequency as well, it's easy because you can you can easily go 60 degrees or even less if you really undervolt hardly. Uh, and I hope that the price comes down because it deserves a price cut to let's say $250 or maybe even a little less than that. But well, that's basically it. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. If you have any doubts, just leave your comment in the comment section and as always, I'll answer as fast as possible. See you in the next one, guys.